Mike and Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Viper RS by Ultra Cornhole. Now what makes these different from the regular Viper Rs? Well, let's dive in, break these bags down. I'll tell you all about these. I'll compare them to the regular Viper Rs and tell you what's similar and what's different in the two bags. First, we'll start with materials. Same exact material combination you find on the Viper Rs. It's this hybrid slow side material. It's like a five and a half speed. It, it's great. To, in my opinion, it's great for running bags in the hole. If you want to get up there, run bags in the hole, that's when I like to pull this material. You still got control to it, so you can throw blockers, play a little bit of a dirty style game. Very hole friendly for the control you get with it. It plays well in most all conditions, which is why I think a lot of people are switching over to hybrid materials because the consistency you get with them, no matter how the weather conditions change, the board conditions, the, the environment you're playing in changes, this material scene tends to play pretty consistent across those conditions. So five and a half speed on the slow side, nine spin on the fast side. This is that Viper Pro Sniper fast side. It's it's great for pushing, collecting, cleaning up messes, blowing up piles, sliding the boards any condition. So five and a half, nine speed on these Viper RSs. Template. This is the first change between the regular Viper R's and these. This is a, it's, it's still a medium template. Ultra calls this the smallest template allowed by by the ACL, which it probably is. I mean, for measurements, it, it's tough to measure because depending on how you break your bags in, how much stretch you get it, to where brand new, they're at the, the minimum specs required to be a legal bag. But still, the ACL doesn't, in my, the way I measure bags, the ACL doesn't really allow for a small template bag. This is a medium template bag, but it's on the, it's on the low end of that. So it's, it's, it's bordering close to a small template. I'm still calling it a medium template bag though, but it is smaller than that large template Viper R if you're, if you follow. So if you throw the Viper R, this is smaller than that. This is more like what I would call a quote unquote normal template out there. The fill in here is, this is another change. This is a mixed fill. So the Viper R has a mostly, if not 100% flat fill in this, this actually has a, I think they call it a tri-blend, so three-part fill in here. It's actually got some round beads in here. I love the fill that Ultra put. To me, this is a much better fill than they typically use in their bags. I would love to see this fill kind of take over and evolve into all of their bag lines or most of their bag lines. I think this is a superior fill. I love the fill here. It's probably my favorite part of this bag. My favorite change of the bag is the fill. Very whole friendly. It still has some movement to it, so it makes it easier for cuts, rolls, flops, stuff like that. I will say if you don't throw the flattest of bags, this fill does have a little bit of balance and movement, which means it's going to have more kick to it than, say, that regular Viper R. So if you don't throw the flattest of bags, the regular Viper R is probably a better choice for you than the Viper RS. But if you like to do that shot shaping, cuts, rolls, and flops, you're going to love the way this RS plays. It's phenomenal at that shot shaping ability. Probably the biggest improvement to me was the cut ability in this bag compared to the regular Viper R out there. The other thing about the fill here is it's got less fill in it. So, so when they shrunk that template size down a little bit, they took some fill out. So the bag's not really necessarily a fuller bag. It's a touch fuller than the regular Viper R, but it's not a full bag like we think of because the bag is lighter. They took fill out. So it's actually at the very minimum 15 and a half ounces, which is the, the, the lightest the AC allows. So this is really an L version of the Viper R as well. It's like a Viper RSL, if you want to add that to to, to, to some extent. But it's, And that's probably my, my one of my gripes with it is I think when you think you're getting a smaller template bag or you shrink the template down, you're going to get a fuller filling bag. It's not really a full bag. It's not as loose, I would say, as the Viper R. So it's it's fuller than the regular Viper R, which is kind of on that looser, floppier side. But again, it's more of a medium fullness to it. So it, it, it doesn't feel like a full bag. You've got floppier. It's not overly floppy, but you do have floppier. It's kind of what I call it right down the middle, medium floppiness to it. Right? And I've got a, I've got my regular Viper R. So these are the 2025 stamp Viper R's. And you can see here, right? I don't know if I can get this good for you. You can see here, there's there's flop here to this back. This back has some flop. It's still not overly light. Like this is 2025 version. It's not as floppy as some of the other ones I've thrown. But like they're not beat up as much. You've got flop here where if I take this bag, it's maybe not quite as floppy. But this bag still does like taco over really well. So it's not a, this is not what I would call a full bag. I would call this a floppy bag. I would call this a medium kind of right down the middle style bag if that makes sense. So, so just don't expect to get this Viper RS and expect to have a small full bag. You're getting more of a normal bag if you throw in other brand lines besides Ultra. Ultra tends to run on the bigger side of most of their bags. This is becoming more to that normal size. Maybe just a touch smaller, but right on that normal size there. The other thing that Ultra did different, they, they advertised is a seam lock technology. I don't know what that is. 
what I what it felt like to me when I got these bags brand new. When I felt here, this seam was very stiff, almost like there was glue, like they put some kind of fabric glue on the inside. I was worried about that because initially brand new, it just felt awful. I did not like it. As I've broken them, as I've thrown them, it softened up. I don't really notice it as much. It's still there a little bit. If I compare the two, two bags, it's still a stiffer seam than what I get with the regular Viper R. There's still some stiffness there. And I don't, I don't, I I'm speculating the glue. It just feels like they put glue there. I think Ultra is still one of the few companies that single stitches their bags. I, I, I don't know why they haven't gone to the double stitch, which pretty much most every other company's gone to. They still single stitch their bags. I don't know if a double stitch would help minimize the stretching that they're getting here and some of the failures. They get a lot of – Ultra tends to have a higher – failure rate on the seams of bags as they age. They don't tend to have as long a lifespan, especially this R-style hybrid material here. It really does stretch. And they get I, I've seen a lot of Viper R's that have seam failures when they start getting beat up here. I don't know if a double stitching would fix it or not. I don't know if this seam lock technology is going to fix it, this glue is going to fix it or not. Time will tell on that. But just know when you get these bags in brand new, if you feel a really, really stiff seam, it will loosen up some. It's at the point now where I don't really notice it as much unless I really look for it. So it, it's passable. It's not a. It's not as big a concern as I thought it was going to be when I first got it. These bags are ACL stamped too as well. So if they're ACL eventually, throw these Viper RSs out there. Let's jump into playability here and talk about the differences between this RS and the R and just overall playability. And as I mentioned, it's a great bag for running bags and hold. This material, I love this material when I just want to run bags and hold. It's a perfect speed for me. It's just on that slightly faster side of, of the medium speed bags. It's, it's very drippy. This, this tri-blend fill in here is really, really hole friendly. More hole friendly than the regular kind of that flat fill that you get in that regular Viper. So I love, I love the hole friendliness of this fill. I will say on the downside, it's maybe not as forgiving. The larger template of this regular Viper R really gives you a ton of forgiveness. One, you've got more flop here. So the bag, if you don't throw flat, the bag doesn't have as much of a kick, as much of a bounce. It lands softer and straighter or true up the board. So as I mentioned, if you don't throw flat bags, you're going to punish less with the regular Viper R with the Viper RS. Around the hole, because it's a little bit bigger, it gives you more forgiveness. You get a little bit larger landing zone. So you, you, have, you have more bag to kind of grab that hole as it goes by and pull around. When you when you shrink the template size, you lose some. Of it. And we're talking we're talking fractions of an inch. You're not talking an inch or two inches, fractions of an inch. But sometimes in the game of cornhole, it doesn't take but an eighth of an inch difference of whether that bag grabs the hole, comes back in, or skips over it. So you've got this. You've got to be a little more accurate when you're throwing the RSs as opposed to the regular Rs. The other thing I mentioned is the shot shaping. Cuts, rolls, flops. This RS does a better job, way better job than the regular Viper R. If you throw in a Viper R, you know it's not the easiest bag for cuts, rolls, flops. You've got to be above average to advance to do that. I think with this bag, this is a good bag that if you're trying to learn, maybe not to learn on initially, but if you're starting to get used to throwing cuts, rolls, and flops, you're still not at, you know, at, that, at that advanced level. You can have some success as RS. I think that's the big improvement you've got here is the shot shaping with this bag. So I think the RS is going to be better suited for the for the player that wants to run bags in the hole, that wants to play shot shaping, cuts, rolls, and flops, that, that if you're planning against an opponent who plays a lot of blockers, dirty style game, and you want a bag that you could just get around their bag, put your bag in the hole, leave them, make them collect it. That's where the RS shines. I was pleasantly surprised with this RS. I, I liked it better than I thought it was going to. I like the Viper R. I think the Viper R is a really good bag. I reviewed it a while back. In fact, I bought these 2025 bags to do an updated review. It's been a long time since I reviewed this bag, so I have, I'm going to have an updated review on these, which it worked out good because I had a set of these to compare to the RSs. I, I like the regular RRs. I really like the RSs. I think they're for different situations, different types of people. And, and I think that's where, you know, I it, just because you like the R, you may not like the RS. If you don't like the Viper R, you might like the RS. So it, it, I think I think Ultra did a great job of designing a bag that's very similar materials, but they made enough tweaks and changes to fit a different type of player and a different type of play style. That leads me into availability and Ultra has a website, ultracornhole.com. As always, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. Uh, one of the, my biggest issues with Ultra has always been their price point. I think they've always been at the higher price point, but it seems like they've really done a great job of bringing that price point down and really they're they're becoming one of the better values out there in Cornhole. So they've been normally $125 or more for some of their bags plus shipping and, and then they've been recently discounting down to $95. Looks like these RSs are on the site as just $95 is their standard price point on these it's 11.50 i think shipping with ultra you know so it's at mid price points but the other thing they've been doing is when they release these these bags the rs and ultra does this a lot is when they release a bag they put it at a special price they've been releasing these at 89 dollars with free shipping so if you if you go to look to buy a set and they, they're all at 95 if you're not in a hurry to get them 
Wait till they come out with a new colorway, and they'll probably release that new colorway, $89 with free shipping. They also gave their pro-sponsored players a discount code. Go follow some of the pro players on their social media accounts, so you can get the discount code. I can't remember what the discount is. I don't remember if it's a percentage or a flat dollar amount off, but it, it kudos to Ultra for doing that, because in the past, Ultra hasn't had discount codes for their bags. So if you've thrown these RSs, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below what you like, what you don't like. And, and I'd love to hear your comparison to the regular R's and the RSs, which one you prefer and why. I always love hearing you guys' opinions. I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching. 